welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week a whole variety of things lifestyle beauty adventure all sorts of fun stuff and I upload every Monday Wednesday and Saturday and today I wanted to share a little bit about how I practice self-care at home um I think self-care is super important I know especially if you're you know a busy person um got a lot to do and stuff I think it's important to take even just a little bit of time to take care of yourself. If you're not taking care of yourself, it's hard to take care of other people, take care of what you need to get done. Um, I just think it's really important. I love to practice a little bit of self-care every single day in all sorts of different ways. Um, so I'm just sitting here with my pup up, which is one of my favorite things to do. I think calling with my puppy is actually a form of self-care too. Um, and I have a coffee and I just wanna share a few things that I like to do. Um, to promote my own self-care at home. Also, I love this mug, my mini mug. Um, so obviously one of the easiest things you can do to self-care is, you know, the normal stuff people would always recommend, you know, take a bubble bath, do a face mask, paint your nails, those kind of beauty things. And that might seem to some people like, like unnecessary, you know, like, a little bit extra but I truly believe when I take a bubble bath or do a face mask or paint my nails I feel better about myself and I go to bed happier I wake up better I you know I just feel better overall when I do those kind of things so as silly as that sounds I know a lot of people are probably like well duh but honestly they really do make me feel better so obviously that's somewhere I like to start um Another thing I love to do is read. You know, not everyone likes to read, but, and some people will say, you know, if you're going to read for self-care, make sure it's something enriching and, you know, self-help and all. I don't believe in that. You know, if you love self-help books and you love those kind of books, great, read them. But if you don't, don't force yourself to read them. It's not gonna make you feel any better. I personally love young adult romance novels why I don't know but I always have and I probably always will so I read those kind of books I don't really enjoy uh nonfiction, so I don't read them I just finished reading all the Harry Potter books and I thought it was so great it was so much fun to read them all so I think the important thing is if you like to read and you're going to read make sure you read something you like don't force yourself into reading something you dislike or you don't find interesting, it's not going to feel like self-care that it's going to feel like a chore and all that kind of stuff. So I personally recommend, yeah, if you read something enriching, it's going to be great. But I would recommend if you're going to do it for self-care to read what you like and don't feel like you're being judged by other people. My husband's always like, why do you like those books? Because I do and it's what I enjoy reading. So, you know, he doesn't have to read them. So why does he care? Um... But yeah, that's just my advice. Make sure you pick something you love to read. And I just think it's really nice. It's a great way to de-stress at night too. I personally love to get in bed early and then read a book until I fall asleep. So that's just another way I like to self-care. Um, the next one is to keep a journal. I know that kind of sounds silly and I'm sure a lot of adults um, probably are like, well, I did that in like high school and I don't want to do it now. But I truly, truly believe that journaling helps my mental space so, so much. I find that when I write down just a few of my feelings throughout the day, if I'm feeling stressed, if I'm feeling happy, I had a bad night's sleep, um, something great happened to me, something bad happened to me. If I write those things down, I don't stress on them as much. I don't keep them in my mind. My anxiety is lessened um, just by writing down a few things and also by writing down things that I'm grateful for. Even if it's just one thing that day, maybe it's that I'm grateful I have this amazing puppy. Maybe it's I'm grateful I was able to work out today. Anything like that, I find just writing those things down makes me feel so much better throughout the day. And my mind doesn't wander to the bad thoughts, to the anxieties, stuff like that. So I believe that journaling really is a great way to take care of your mental space too, because self-care isn't just about what's on the outside. It's not just about those beauty things. It's also about how you feel internally. And for me with anxiety and depression, that kind of stuff just helps so, so much. Um, 
So I always love to journal throughout my day. I keep one on my desk um, and it serves many purposes, but I'm always writing in it. I just love, love my journal. Um, so if you don't like to read, my next recommendation would be to watch a movie and watch again, movies you like. If you love documentaries, watch a documentary. If you love savvy romance movies like I do, watch one of those. Um, if it's just a movie you've loved for years, I watch the same movies over and over and over again sometimes because I just love them so much. One of my favorite movies is You've Got Mail. I've owned when DVDs were still a thing before, you know, everyone just watched the video videos online. Um, I had like two or three of the DVDs of You've Got Mail because I love that movie so much. I rewatched it so many times that my DVDs got scratched and broken. Um, but I just think it's so nice to kind of escape your world for an hour or two, watch something new, watch something old. Um, it's just relaxing, cozy up with a blanket, grab a cup of tea or coffee or an alcoholic beverage if you so choose and are old enough to do so. And I just think it's a great way to kind of let your mind wander for a little bit and not concentrate on your own world, but kind of, you know, just think about something else for a little bit. And I just love to cozy up and watch a movie. It's one of my favorite things personally to do. Um, just a huge movie person and I love them. Um, but again, just like the books, make sure you're picking something that you personally love. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Like I said, I love this cheesy rom-com movies, just like my books. It's just what I like to watch and read. So that's what I always pick. Um, the next two things also kind of have to do with the body. So one of my favorite things to de-stress and take care of myself is to stretch. Um, stretching is really important for your health in general, especially if you're weightlifting, you're working out in other ways, you want to make sure you're stretching as well. And so it's just a nice way to kind of get that health benefit in, but also it's great to kind of shut down your mind for a little bit and just focus on your breathing, your stretching. I'm not really into yoga or anything like that. Um, but I was a dancer for pretty much my whole life. Um, and so stretching was something I always did. And now as an adult and I don't dance anymore, um, except, you know, for fun by myself in the kitchen, um, I find that stretching really helps just kind of center me and close my mind for a little bit and just be able to kind of push everything off for a little bit. And just really focus on myself for 30, 45 minutes a day. I just think it's really nice. I usually do it in the afternoon after my work's all done. And I kind of can just decompress from my work day while I'm stretching. And I just find that so helpful. And I always feel better after I do it. Um, so I just love to stretch. Another thing you can do is like work out, go for a walk. One of my favorite things to do in the morning is I always take Tahoe for a walk every single morning and it's just my favorite part of my morning. I work out, I do my cardio and then I take him for a little walk and it's just so calming and stretching. It's just me and him. I don't put on music or anything like that but I just love to kind of walk and prepare for my day a little bit and take care of you know myself in that way before I start my day. It's just a great way to kind of center yourself. If you, I love to also take walks with my husband. It's so great. We get a little time just together to ourselves. Neither of us really have our phones out. It's just nice to be able to disconnect from that kind of stuff and give your body a little exercise, but also just be out in the world and not have to worry about anything except where you're going and when you're gonna turn around. Another thing I love, love to do when I am trying to do a little self-care is either make something I like or bake a treat that I'm like. And I just think it's really a nice way, even if you're not a great cook, maybe find a recipe that's easy to follow and bake or, or you know, cook your favorite thing. It's such a great way to feel better about yourself. One of my favorite things is chicken tikka masala, but I can't order Indian food anymore because I I don't do dairy. And so I found this amazing um, dairy-free recipe for tikka masala online and I love to make that whenever I'm kind of feeling a little down or you know maybe it's my time of the month I'll find that recipe again and I just make the tikka masala and it just always makes me feel better and it's just one of my favorite things to do when I'm not feeling great or I'll 
bake some cookies or some sort of bread or something. It's just such a nice way to kind of treat yourself and you don't have to feel bad about it. Everyone needs a treat once in a while. And I just love to cook and bake myself something. It just feels so good to have a homemade treat or homemade meal um, when you're kind of, you know, you need that little time to yourself. It's also just a great way to spend time to yourself and focus on one thing instead of all things are happening around you because you're just focusing on what you're doing at that point in time and following a recipe or whatever you're doing. It's a nice, just a nice way again to disconnect and kind of just focus on yourself and what you're doing in that moment. All right, and the last thing I love to do for a little bit of self-care, which I know this one's gonna be a little bit difficult, um, but if it's in your budget and your, you know, your limit and stuff, which I always recommend. My husband's a big budgeter. I'm not great with money, but I always try to remember not to spend outside my limit. And I just think that helps in general with, you know, your stress levels and stuff. But if you have the means and you want to treat yourself, I think shopping is a great stress reliever. Um, buying yourself like one new thing. Maybe it's a pair of shoes you've loved for a really long time and you've saved up finally pull the trigger and buy those shoes. I think it's just a great way to make yourself feel better. I know for me personally, whenever that thing I order comes in, I always feel so much better about myself. I'm so excited to try it on, so excited to wear it out, so excited to use it. And I just love to just do a little bit of shopping when I'm feeling down. Nothing crazy, nothing too insane. But like recently I wasn't feeling too good and I went on to Hollister and I found that they were having a sale on their bathing suits. So I bought a bikini and I am so excited to get it in and I can't wait to try it on and wear it. We're not even going anywhere soon. I don't know when I'm going to get the chance to wear it. But I just, it made me feel instantly better just getting it and I can't wait for it to come in. I know the day that it does come in, I'll feel so good. Um, and yeah, but I also know that it was on sale and I didn't spend outside my means and it just... You know, all of those things can contribute to it. Um, so those are kind of some of the things I like to do for self-care. I don't find self-care that selfish. I think everyone needs it. And honestly, it's not just about your outward appearance, but also how you feel on the inside. I think your mental health is just as important as your physical health as well as your outward appearance. Um, and I just think it all works together to make you feel really good about yourself. So just remember, even when you're a busy person, take 10, 15 minutes out of your day to just give yourself a little self-care, even if it's on your lunch break or, you know, if you have kids after everyone went to bed, just those little bit of times to just kind of decompress and let your mind rest and, you know, not feel as stressed about the world. I think we all need that a little bit right now. Um, and I just find these are some of the ways that I like to do it and kind of keep my mind from being too bogged down with stress and anxiety and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully you found some things that maybe you want to try out now. I know some of these are, most of these are really simple, but they're things that people often forget about when life gets busy and crazy. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little reminder that self-care is good and these are some things that you can do. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any self-care, the things that you like to do that are maybe weird or out of the norm, please leave me a comment down below and share with everyone. We all could use a little bit of de-stressing right now. Um, subscribe if you want to join our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.